Hi, how are you doing? This is Dave in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chemistry professor with a, a university in Western Pennsylvania, USA. Um, I'm working at school with uh, certain cells. I'll be uploading my work with coin batteries, lithium batteries, uh, 3 volt and the 3.6 volt. Uh, in particular, non rechargeables. I'm bringing them down uh, with a jewel thief eventually down to around uh, 0 0.8 volt and under carefully controlled laboratory conditions attempting to bring them back up to uh, 4 volts for the 3.6 and uh, maybe 3.3, 3.4 for the 3.0 volt. And we're interested in uh, seeing do they hold the charge? Is th uh, What's the self discharge? and uh, we'll be uploading videos on that type of work. Right here you're looking at the title uh, of the experiment. Uh, we have zinc and I have a stainless steel electrode in there. In a prior uh, video I've uploaded to YouTube I showed you how to prepare these uh, stainless steel electrodes with uh, stainless steel scrubber around it to increase the surface area and uh, what I have this in, I'm interested in developing uh, gel electrolytes. This is sodium polyacrylate, commercially available. Of course, uh, you probably know they soak up water, they gel, they, you, they're used in diapers. I have it mixed uh, approximately 150 milliliters of uh, deionized distilled water mixed with uh, about uh, oh let's 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 talk kitchen stuff a couple of tablespoons of uh, the sodium polyacrylate and uh, two uh, tablespoons of uh, washing soda um, sodium carbonate you can use potassium carbonate not bicarb carbonate that'll generate uh, in water some hydroxide to drive the zinc oxidation to the uh, uh, hydroxide. And uh, I've been charging this up. I use, uh, as shown in my prior videos, I have an ACDC rectifier power source that's giving me uh, 5 volts DC, about 500 milliamps. About 5, 10, 15 minutes, I charge up the electro, uh, this, this cell and uh, I'll disconnect it now and uh, we'll see what we're doing with this very interested in gels so I'm doing this of course with every, like everybody else usually does it with one hand okay not too bad huh um, let me put this uh, hook this up be with you in a minute Okay, got it hooked up. Stainless steel is your uh, cathode, and the zinc is your anode, of course. Now, don't get excited. We got 2.27 volts, but we're way, way far away from uh, equilibrium. That'll drop down uh, 1.4, 1 1 1.5 volts. But uh, let's give you, that's open voltage, of course. Let's give you a short circuit. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to 20 milliamps dropping down. See if we crank it back up. Go back to voltage. Yeah, see it's going up, trying to climb back up it's rechargeable. Now I want to work with these gels, this one and some others uh, increase the amount of the uh, sodium carbonate and uh, I also have over here the more conventional aqueous carbonate 
charging that up. But the uh, focus here is to really get the gel so we can move.